Sunday, November 12, 2023 marked a monumental day for Joby Aviation, successfully demonstrating a piloted version of its VTOL aircraft in an urban environment in New York City. This news following a press release only a month or so ago in early October that they had begun testing their vehicles with pilots. This flight was billed as an exhibition flight marking the first ever electric air taxi flight in New York City and the first time Joby has flown in an urban setting. The aircraft took off from the iconic downtown heliport in Manhattan where New York City Mayor Eric Adams announced the city's intention to electrify the airport, laying the groundwork for New York to become the global leader in the adoption of clean, quiet flight. You'll notice the graphic playing on the screen right now shows the acoustic footprint of a light helicopter versus something like the Joby electric VTOL vehicle. And the idea, of course, is that by switching to electric in the future, this noise reduction improves the life of everybody living and working nearby in the city. The other benefit, though, to having an environmentally friendly electric VTOL option is the reduction in travel time from Manhattan to an airport like JFK, cutting the average trip time, which now could be 30 to 60 minutes, down to just a short seven minute flight. Joby plans to launch commercial passenger service in 2025, according to current guidance. And through their partnership with Delta Airlines, they expect New York to be one of the early launch markets after they receive certification from the FAA. I will put a link to this press release in the video description if you guys would like to read it yourself. But one other thing that I thought is worth mentioning is it says that Joby and Delta are working closely with the Port Authority of New York and the New York City Economic Development Corporation as they plan for initial operations, including the development of infrastructure at JFK and LaGuardia. They're gonna to need to build out the electric charging infrastructure, passenger drop-off and delivery, things like that, I would assume. Since 2017, Joby has flown more than 30,000 miles with its prototype eVTOL aircraft. That was prototype testing, but they also recently celebrated the first aircraft to roll off the pilot production plant in Marina, California, and delivered the first ever air taxi to the U.S. Air Force or on-base operational testing. That aircraft is part of a $131 million contract with the DOD. And regarding that recent delivery, it says here in this other press release that the U.S. Air Force and Joby will conduct joint flight testing and operations to demonstrate the aircraft's capabilities and realistic mission settings. This will include the training of Air Force pilots and aircraft maintenance crews, which will provide the DOD with valuable insight into the performance of eVTOL aircraft. Since 2021, Joby stock has run up as high as $17, as low as $3.15 in the beginning of 2023, then another run up to $12, currently trading at $5.46. They did just a couple weeks ago release their Q3 earnings. When I have time, I'll go through that, do a deeper dive and maybe a five minute video on where I think the risk is on Joby versus the potential payoff. We got a couple years before Joby starts monetizing their products, so I think there's plenty of time to be patient. In the meantime, there might be some opportunity or volatility trading. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in learning more about this up and coming technology. If you're invested in Joby or thinking about it, I'd love to hear from you. I am Tony DeNaro. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next video.